So if I knew I was going to come on stage after Stevie, I would have learned how to do this. But you know, I'm one of those people that actually that Nancy referred to yesterday that I've been in the utility business for 37 years. But before I start, I really want to say, well, first of all, thank you, ETS, for, for putting this conference together, you know, to get all the thought leaders in the utility business to come in and actually kind of listen and learn from each other. And then the other one is really to thank Ricky for pulling me in yesterday as a sub for Ralph. So for those of you in the audience who's expecting Ralph and hear about energy efficiency, you're in for disappointment. <laughs> so my topic today is really about finding new ways to love and engage your partner. Now, if you're actually an old utility executive like me, you usually don't hear about love, engage in the utility business model, right? You heard Steve talk about yesterday's our, our industry is usually referred to as dinosaurs, right? So I think it's very fitting that Carl came up with Steve the T-Rex. So first of all, before I start, let me just give you a little bit about myself and SMUD. So for those of you who don't know, SMUD stands for Sacramento Municipal Utility District. So we are a publicly owned utility that sits in Sacramento, California, which is the capital of California. We serve 900 square miles. We have about 1.7, 1.5 million population with a 623,000 customer accounts. And our operating budget is close to $1.8 billion. So, and we employ about 2,200 employees. So a little bit about myself. So as you heard, you know, I'm SMUT's Chief Grid Strategy Officer, and this is my 37th year working for the same company. As you can well imagine, I probably have seen most of the changes that is the industry is actually seeing now. And it was really interesting. I was sitting actually you know, on the couch over there talking to Ricky, which I want to thank for inviting me and putting me on stage, that I've been in the industry longer than all three of those kids that's been born. So that kind of gives you a little perspective. So in the span of the 37 years I spent at SMUD, I've been, I spent my first 15 years in engineering. Then I went over the customer. So I've been the chief customer officer, the chief information officer, the chief power supply officer, the chief energy delivery officer. So I think my, I came to the same conclusion that my wife did. I really can't hold a job more than three years. So today, the topic that I have is that it's really about you know, changing the relationship. I think you heard Steve Wesley said yesterday, there's unprecedented change happening to the electric utility model. Now, for those of us who's fortunate enough to live in California and work in California, you know California, we are absolutely in the leading edge of climate change and greenhouse gas legislation. So it's a state that where we have energy efficiency mandates, we have storage mandates, we have electric vehicle mandates, and we have energy, yeah, and, and battery mandates. I mean, sorry, uh, and electric vehicle mandates. So I don't think in Sacramento right now you can hear, you can go on a day without hearing on the radio or TV to put solar on your roof. By 2020, every single new home, residential home in California, is going to have solar on this rooftop. So you heard about Steve talk about yesterday. You know what? You had a, you, we're in an era now that with a conversion of technology, customer expectations, the internet of things coming together, the utilities model is going to change. It has to change. So just an example, SMUD, we are still a vertically integrated utility. So we still own our power generation, our transmission, our distribution, and our customer. So my new job title is Chief Grid Strategy and Operations Officer. We created this position about five years ago, four and a half years ago, to say, you know what? If you look at the, what's changing in the industry, 
you need to start thinking about optimizing the stuff beyond the meter, how it impacts the distribution grid, how it impacts the transmission grid, how it impacts the generation, and then how it impacts the power market. So SMART, as of April 1st, we just have actually joined the California Independent System Operator, the energy and balance market, the five minute market in California. So I can honestly say, in my 37 year working electric utilities, there's been more changes in the last seven years than all the 30 years that was previous combined. And remember, I lived through the energy crisis. I lived through deregulation or in California. I even lived through Rancho Seco, which is, I think, we have the, we have the SMUD had the designation as the only electric utility that, by voter referendum, shut down a, a running 960 megawatt power plant back in 1989. So I've seen a lot. But what's actually changing this time is that the competition is coming very differently from different companies that maybe we never heard of. You heard Steve talked about yesterday. So really, if you want to think about, well, you need to start thinking about product, you know, making new product and services available for utilities. Well, how do you do that? Smart, we sell kilowatt hours. That's all we do, right? So how do you actually change and start thinking about creating those product and services that Steve Wesley talked about that the Millennium really loves, that the community really loves? So the first thing that we did is actually, with the guidance of our CEO, which is on our tree sitting right there, along with our board and our director, Nancy Bowie, they created something called Strict Direction 19, Diversified Businesses. It's the first time in SMUD history that SMUD is actually authorized to start developing new lines of businesses that with the object objective to do what? One, to create new revenue. Two, is make sure that we actually promote new product, make sure we can actually spur new innovative product and services that our customers or the electric utility business really needs. And you need to do that along with make sure you capitalize SMUD's brand and SMUD's intellectual property. So SMUD, you know, we've been actually number one in JD Powers, right, in California for the last 16 years. We'll be one and two always in the West Coast, but we're moving toward, I love the theme of this conference, love your energy. We're really moving the company culture and the community culture to really love SMUD. And the way to do that is to create new product and services. So with the new SD19, right, that's what we're focusing on, right? Is capitalize your intellectual property. Leverage your existing assets that you have. But also, make sure you keep in mind to retain and attract the workforce, the workforce of the future. Let's not forget that. Now, of course, this is brand new to SMUD, right? So therefore, we say, you know what? You need to have some guardrails. How do you want to do this? So first, we want to do this. He said, hey, the new lines of product and services, you got to be benefit the customer in the community, right? And you actually got to do it with a balanced, diversified portfolio of both risk and reward, because now you're creating a new line of business. And you need to do it, make sure that you actually contribute to economic health for SMUD without putting in jeopardy. Without, and then you also make sure that when you do something, you're not putting a reasonable risk on SMUD's reputation. But most importantly, you're doing it with an eye on the future. So to implement this new vision the board has about how do you create new product and services, we're changing our relationship with our partners, or our vendors. Now traditionally, I think most utilities in the US like us, right, especially public utilities, we go through an RFP. Right, request for proposal. We get the lowest bid, and we buy the product. Now, SMUD, in the past, we actually have helped many startups. How many of you in here heard of Opower? Right, so this is a company that SMUD was the first customer. They were called Positive Energy. They went, actually, they started in 2007. They went IPO 2014, and they got bought up by Oracle 2016 for a tune of $530 million. And what SMUD got? 
was I did personally get a bottle of champagne, less than $50, on the IPO day. So Smart and Along has made a lot of, we, we are, we're known as being innovators in the streets. You know, we help a lot of companies launch, help them improve their product. In the process, we're very happy with that. But all that's got to change. So with the innovation generator, something that we created, it now actually allows SMUD to create strategic partnerships with companies. From startups to multinational companies. So how do we do this? We say, you know what, SMUD, we actually, we are user of the products. Our customers and our communities are user of those products those vendors have to develop. It makes perfect sense for us to say, why don't we scan the market? We do that now. SMUD spend a lot of money doing R&D every single year. Why don't we scan the market, look at who the best players are, look at who actually have the best future potentials, right, to really move the industry along and to move SMUD along. So we look at companies and say, what are they, what are they currently doing? What is their addressable market? What is their revenue potential? What can SMUD do for them? Is there something that unique, you know, with SMUD's brand, with SMUD's intellectual property, what are operations, our assets, that helps them move their company? And in return, first time ever, SMUD is actually developing royalties from those companies, which is very, very unusual, right? Because in the past, you know, our staff will look at it and say, hey, you know what, they have to deliver this. And then if they don't deliver it, we go through this, you know, this argue, or guys discussion that we're going to have with them, or change orders, now it's all different. Now we say, you know what, we're in this together. We want you to grow. Your success is our success. And we want you to be widely successful. So we signed a contract last year. So our latest one, so we've been doing this for a couple years. So we went with small companies like Great Rabbit, which is IoT software hardware companies for hotels to strategic direction district with Nokia and with NEC in Japan to see what the, what the Asian market looks like. And then we signed the one just now with OSI, Open System International, to deploy their advanced distribution management system and distribution energy resource management system to make sure that SMUD is ready for those thousands and thousands of distribution energy resources coming online. How do you do this? At the same time, we want to make sure SMUD and SMUD's customers receive the benefits of those SMUD hard work. Now, recently, because one thing that we found that, you know what, between a public municipality, we cannot take equities. And for startups, you know, this is really problematic because they need this revenue to grow. So we're actually working. We actually just proposed legislation for us to drop a bill to allow SMUD to take non equity, just like a, just like a non-cash warrant. So we're actually working it through right now. Hopefully, we have got support from venture capitalists and you know, a lot of municipalities in California, of, obviously of, the, and of a lot of the chambers, for us to say, hey, you know what? We really want to work with both startups and multinational companies. So with that, that is just a very short description, really, what SMUD is doing and what our board and our CEO is doing in leading the change, I think that's gonna be needed for utility in order for us you know, to brave this new world of distributed energy that's gonna be distributed everywhere. So with that, thank you very much.